What's up, golf noobs? Welcome back to the channel. So today, golf noob is uh, debuting his brand new driver. That's right, guys. Went out and picked up this Callaway Maverick uh, in 10 and a half degrees aloft. You can see it has adjustable hosel right there, guys. If you're if you're buying a new driver, it really needs to have an adjustable hosel. Get a little wrench. Wrench goes in the screw, and you can custom fit this to your swing over and over again. You can set it to the base to closed. For a draw you set it to open you can adjust the loft up and down and especially if you're spending big money on a driver say three hundred dollars or more if you're spending three hundred dollars or more on a driver you need to have an adjustable hosel okay otherwise you're throwing money out the window all right this is not going to make me a scratch golfer it's not going to make me hit the ball 300 yards but hopefully it'll bring my spin numbers down and get the ball in the fairway a little more often so far after the first test on the driving range it's been pretty impressive not too shabby i picked up at least 30 yards uh, which means i'm hitting it about 230 now instead of 200 uh, and that's pretty huge i'm not gonna lie if, if this thing can uh, hit it 230 and keep it on the short grass this guy's about to get better all right so i'm not going to get into spin numbers and bore you with all that that stuff that's going to be different for every player i don't have access to a simulator uh, but i will give you just a general impressions review of the 2022 callaway maverick all right, so stick around. And look who we have here, golf noobs. John has come back to the channel yet again for more punishment. <laughs> What's up, guys? Out here working on the short game pre-round, some chipping and putting. Trying to verify my alignment. Say that one more time for the people in the back. Trying to verify my alignment, hitting my spots on my putts. Which means I get my spot between the cup and my ball and make them sure I'm hitting that spot. Not necessarily the cup, but making sure I'm lining to hit my spot. Now guys, that's brilliant high. advice right there. So if I'm gonna aim my line, it's gonna be right here when I line my putter up. I'm doing my practice swing. If they go back and I know my line is right here, I don't have to look at the cup. I know right there is my line. And when I putt, I don't even have to look at the hole. I go back and I miss my line by about an inch. So I don't worry about that. I make sure I hit my line there. Hey guys, that's such good advice. It's so easy to get target focused and you start looking at just the cup, just the cup. If you don't start to putt online, 100% of putts that don't, well, Okay, 99% of putts that don't start online don't go in, all right? So getting your putt to start online, that's key, all right? So remember, don't get too target focused, all right? And this is where you should be spending your time as an amateur practicing golf. Not over there on the driving range, over here, okay? Over here, you can take, I don't know, two hours a week, maybe even less, heck, just 45 minutes a week over here, you're gonna take five strokes off your game. 45 minutes over there, you're probably just gonna start beating balls and get worse, like me. <laughs> you have got to keep your focus, maintain, what was the word I'm looking for? Focused practice, yes, focused practice, because unfocused practice, that's gonna do more harm than good, all right? So we're gonna get out on course, we're gonna see how Golf Noob's new Callaway Maverick does. Is there any truth in advertising? Will a new expensive driver help? Will a new expensive driver hurt? Let's go find out. All right, golf noobs. I'm gonna try and uh, film this for you. Forgive me, this is my first time ever really filming much of my swing at full. So if you see this big tree over here, that's where a golf noob normally goes. Let's see where the new driver takes us today. Hopefully not into that tree, and I'll see if I can't get my shot tracer app to work. Uh, maybe I can edit some shot tracers into this video. Maybe. You know me, I kind of like the tech skills for that, but you never know, it could happen. We'll see. Nope, still under that tree. <laughs> Although about 20 yards further than normal. Yeah, <laughs> under the next tree. 
Golf Noob has got to get this slice fixed. It is destroying my game. <sighs> Ooh, John's going to iron off the first tee. I'm trying a little smart golf today. Smart golf? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> I might just leave my driver in the back all day. Give you a good chance to work on those irons? Oh, really? Total yardage out here, guys, is only right at 4,000 yards. So this is a pretty short course, par is 66. I really wanted that first one to be in play. <laughs> and John has just hit a BA beautiful draw right smack dab into the middle of the fairway, about 210 yards. Oh, five iron. Wow. There you go. Nice shot. <laughs> Boy, that was a pretty swing. See, I told you, you hit him like crap on the range, then you go hit him good on the golf course. What you don't want to see is hitting him good on the range like I was, because then you get out to the golf course and then you don't hit him good. Driving range here, right? <laughs> good ball, John. Another one right out in the middle of the fairway. Very nice. All right, Golf New normally hits a five wood here, but since I got very few chances to try, try my shiny new driver on such a short course, I'm going for it. Driver, I'm gonna aim at that bunker and hope my slice shows up. Well, the slice showed up. <laughs> Definitely got the slice. About 10 yards to the left of the trap, or to the 10 yards to the left of the OB. So you're good. Oh, got away with it, huh? Yep. You hit a tree and bounced. Uh, like, like those little green spots. Man, this thing is so much more solid than my old driver. I will say that. The directional problems are mine and not the golf clubs. Yep. Uh. Beautiful shot, John. John could not hit an iron to save his life on the green or on the uh, driving range when we started. The minute I got him on the golf course, he's hitting his irons just pure as all get out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he hit that good. He's good. Yeah, of course, we're playing today. It comes in just under 4,000 yards, so. I'm gonna try to hit my driver whenever I get the chance since it's new. Oh, give me a little more. The survey says, yeah, 115 to the center. And here's Golf Noob. I will say this, that's about as far as I go hitting my other driver pure and straight. So again, this Callaway Maverick is proving to be a little bit longer than my G20. Uh, from a long time ago. Uh, the Golf News got 102 to the flag. Okay, so I'm thinking full swing with a 56. That's what we're thinking. Whether or not that's gonna work is anybody's guess. Good ball. Any better. That's on the green. Good club selection there. Guys, this is why it's so important to know your yardages. I know a full 56 for me is going to go right at about 100 yards. Oh, and John has hit three greens in regulation in a row to start the day. 
Beautiful shot, man. Is that a sun? Oh. Yeah, I hit a good wedge there. Really good wedge. Like you said, got lucky and stayed just in bounds. Man, I really do like that driver. I, I still slice the crap out of it, but at least I, I do think I like it better than my my old one. Feels more solid for sure. All right, so believe it or not, we're on double birdie watch here. John's got a pretty long one, but it looks makeable. And then the short one you see there, that's, that's actually this guy. See if Golf Noob can drain one today. But first, we're gonna give John a shot. No pressure, John, there's only 325 people watching. Those of you who saw the last video, Robert told me not to leave it short. What did I do? I left it short. And now I've done it yet again. Oh. Starting to cloud up on us a little. Oh, look at those mamatas. That's impressive. Don't see that in Florida every day. The mamatas clouds. The big, the ones that look like big uh, upside down cotton balls, kind of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that shows extreme turbulence. Oh, yeah. You would not want to fly your airplane through that. Yeah, that'd be pretty bad, huh? All right. Thought we'd let you guys tag along and enjoy the view on our way to this beautiful par five. It's not a very long hole, but it's a 90 degree dog leg, so you either got to cut the corner or it turns into a par five. <laughs> This is a hole I'm very excited to have my new driver on because if you can get good solid contact and hit a fade, oh my gosh, you are looking at an eagle. I've eagled this hole a few times before, so it would be nice to see if we can do that again. Cart path only this hole today. That's not my favorite. Whoo! Got a new selfie stick we're working with this week, new tripod. So far, so good, I think. If I don't break it against the cart here. So Golf Noob is gonna try and cut that corner. If I go right over the edge of those trees with a left to right ball flight, that should be money. I mean, at least in theory. Guys, back here far enough that you can see the show. Hey, we're both playing Calibre Dead now. I missed my starting line by about 10 yards to the right, but I hit that dead straight and it didn't look like it was fading at all. So either that's gone through the hole <laughs> into the forest and out of bounds, or I'm looking at getting on this green in two on par five. Now John's gonna get, it. get up here and show me up on the seven. Okay, five. Wait. See, that makes it a little better.
be a beautiful. Right over the corner, perfect starting point. Hope I made over the wet spot. Yeah, I think you did. Probably not by a lot, but you should be over it by some. As long as I'm not stuck in the stuff. I know mine's gone past the wet stuff. <laughs> mine's probably left the golf course. Oh, I, don't. I, think you'd be all right. I hope not. <laughs> We're gonna go find out. Be a 60 degree out. That would be cool. <laughs> Or even better, maybe a 56 out. My 60 on a full swing makes me a little nervous. Well, there's one of us. That's probably one. I hope that's you, no offense. As far as I hit mine, I'm hoping I'm in the fairway over the bunker. Hey, John, that's a heck of a smoke with a five foot, man. Most guys can't get their driver out there. Oh, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it around. Yeah. Wow. Beast mode. Engage. Velociraptors. Engage. Yeah, which is embarrassing. Thanks for rubbing that in. So where are we at now? So distance here. Uh, like I said, I think you're probably 140. I'm probably 125. Like the way do my right there. So there's the green we're going for. Right there. Big old nasty muck pond here in front of this green. So she's got teeth. You gotta be really careful here. You can really get yourself in a world of hurt. Alright, I said 121. Pitching wedge. Oh man, I'm not liking these skies. Making me nervous. Doesn't look super organized yet, but it's Mother Nature's definitely trying to get something cooking. I'm right, gonna set you guys up right here behind me, so you can see how this thing turns out. Still working on trying to get the perfect angle for you guys. No, that's trouble. No, I survived. Got lucky there. That was a good miss. That was a really good miss. started thinking and uh, I should have been playing golf I was uh, I was in the play box and I started thinking you're not supposed to think when you're in the play box you're supposed to do all your thinking in the thinking box John that's ground under repair if you want to move that somebody's come out here and destroyed the fairway it's all mush. Can I put over there? yeah absolutely I'm not gonna make you hit out of tire tracks I mean come on I'm not that mean Uh, golf noob got lucky. I managed to get it over the muck. It's just about a foot short of the left side of the green Boy a pretty nice drive though good contact distance wasn't quite what I wanted, but I'll still take it Let's see what John can do here Let's See if he can get a green under regulation. He's hit all the greens in regulation so far today all three of them Let's See if he can get this one on it, too.
and John hit a variation of the same shot I hit, but I think his is a little more left. Mine might be okay. Oh, man. I wonder if the camera's picking up all these little bugs we're encountering. Yeah, look at all these little bugs. Very disgusting. My skin's crawling. So, guys, if you're thinking about moving to Florida, don't say golf noob didn't warn you. All right, golf noobs, we're back. Fortunately, John has found his ball. He's getting ready to chip it up onto the green. I am just in front of the camera here, plugged down low and to the left. Uh, this is going to be a pretty tricky shot out of that rough, but uh, if I can chip this in, it'll be an eagle. Beautiful shot, and John nearly chips in for eagle. That's to within five feet. Very nicely done. Sit. Nice. Ah, thank you. Ah, I think that's gonna work. Well, sorry guys, no eagle, but maybe we can give you a birdie. I'm gonna have two looks at it. John's got one from about eh, seven feet maybe. And I got one from about three. Oh. Comment down below guys, are these videos too long? Do y'all enjoy these golf vlogs? Do you hate these golf vlogs? Give golf noobs some feedback. Get in the hole. Yeah. Out of way, John. Nice bird. Nice birdie, brother. It's like my first win in two years. Probably. Two years? Probably. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. You wouldn't know it from looking at your game. It's going to look good for the last year. Well, let's see if Golf Noob can follow you here. Oh. That sucks. That really sucks. Sorry, All right, guys, whipping out the trusty Bushnell watch. We got 152 to the middle. I'd say that's a middle pin, middle left side of the green. John's going first because he got a birdie. Golf new missed his. Make sure you take enough club. I'm a little between clubs here, so I'm going to take the longer of the two, take a six iron, and worst case scenario, I wind up on the back of the green. Oh my gosh, I just figured out what Golf Noob's doing wrong. I'm playing golf sober. Well, that might be why you're catching up. <laughs> Learning what the hell you're doing wrong. <laughs> my green juice, my relaxation. Ice cold adult beverage, hopefully that helps. <laughs> I've been doing wrong the whole time. 
No, trust me, it's not. <laughs> you don't want to play golf with me sober. I start yelling and screaming, breaking things. <laughs> yes, let's see the hole in one. I'm ready for an ace. I want to witness one. Not only have I never had one, I've never even got to witness one in person. Be a beautiful shot. It. That is all over it. That might be it. Ah, no, uh, just started drawing right there at the last second. Oh, did I go over the back? I think he. I think you did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That beautiful, right? Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, nice. Hi. Very nice. John came to play today, ladies and gentlemen. That might be my first green on this. Oh, oh no, I'm in deep trouble. That was a great hit, but that's the wrong freaking direction. You know what? Uh, are you sure? I'm pretty sure that's in the that's in the natural waste area. And golf news struggles continue. Guys, this is not good. I haven't felt good about a shot now in three swings. Alright guys, we'll catch up with y'all again when it's time to uh, check out this Callaway Maverick driver. Until now, for now, stand by. Blues moved up today. Drivable par four for the new Callaway Maverick. <laughs> yeah. Or I could just slice it into the water like I'm going to do because that's what Golf Noob does is slice. Man, I hope you guys, I hope we got that baby deer on camera. I think I, think I did. That was really something. Yeah, so they, they're, it looks like they're resodding the tee boxes here. Sorry guys, like I said, new tripod, still trying to work out the kinks. So John's going first. We got 259 to the middle, we got 247 to the front. John managed to par that last hole. Yours truly did not. Because I missed another three foot putt. Have I ever told y'all that putting is important? Thin, but that's gonna work. Yeah, off the heel. Sit, sit. Stop bouncing. Oh, hopefully that stayed up. Off the heel. I'm gonna hit a. That's what we're here. Hopefully that's a better camera view. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I can't get my camera angles right today. I can't get my ball striking right today. I can't get much of anything right today. Should just stay in bed, John. Oh, that's in the water. No, you're gonna be all right. No, that's in the water. No, you're all right. Pretty good. You finally got one. I love you. No. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I, dude, I've hit it over there so many times. You get, if you get right over there, it, I mean, hell, if you get, 
If you get 10 yards right out of the middle, it about, and with a left oh, to right yeah. spin, it goes in the water. I don't think that, I, my mind not be in the water, but I'm thinking this is on 15 pitch. Okay. Well, I crushed that though. For a hack like me, that's that's every bit of 230, I think. That might be 200. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the real number. It's a pretty good strike though, for a hack. Oh, Dewan, I'm sorry. I, I said I'd stop doing that. <laughs> Okay, that's got draw spin on it, so that one should be fine. Good ball. Yeah, so guys, starting a YouTube channel takes a lot of guts because you're going to get a lot of trolls. You're going to get a lot of haters, especially when you're doing a golf channel and you're not a very good golfer. Okay. A lot of troll haters. Yeah, lots of trolls, haters. And troll haters. And troll haters. <laughs> But on my channel, guys, I, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Uh, Dewan Taylor, you're my man. You're giving me giving me some uh, flack about getting down on myself. Uh, I thought a little self-deprecating humor from time to time. And something every golfer can relate to, but I, I will try to be less hard on myself. So I appreciate you guys. You guys, the Golf New community is the best community on YouTube. If you're not a member, like, subscribe, comment. should be further forward. Hey! Look at that. Yay! Oh, <laughs> John is living right today. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Now we just got to make sure we don't get eaten by a gator. That is my longest drive ever on this hole, John. And guys, this is not my home course, but I have played a lot of rounds here. So let me tell you, this is impressive. So... I suck at math, but we got 69 to the middle. We had 259 to the middle when we started. So yeah, 210 yards. Pretty good for, for me though, because like I said, my, my old driver was going, even on good hits, was going about 187 to 200 yards. So I think the fitting experience I had over the PGA Tour Superstore definitely helped. That guy definitely knew what he was talking about, even though I couldn't hit the ball for beans that day in the bay. Uh, he fi fixed me up with a good driver. And guys, fittings matter. I, I'm pretty good at fitting clubs usually, um, but for myself, when I go to fit myself, sometimes that emotional entanglement gets involved and I don't do it right, and I didn't. So I was playing a regular flex driver because I have kind of a slower swing speed. Turns out I need to be playing a stiff flex because a stiff flex driver has brought my spin numbers down, okay? Uh, for driver spin, you wanna be between 2,000 and about 2,400 RPMs of spin is kind of what you're looking for. And this driver is doing it, even though I'm hitting it poorly. If I can get my my technique fixed, watch out. Golf noob's going to be dangerous. So that's a look into our green. A beautiful hole. This is one of my favorite holes on this course. I don't know why. It's just fun. Such a great hole. So now I'm on gator watch. Make sure John doesn't get eaten. I don't want to have to answer to his wife. Oh, you gotta lay off the steroids, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take a 52 degree wedge. I'm gonna take about a half a swing and I'm gonna try to finish with my hands held high so I get this thing up in the air so that when it lands on the green, it stops. Okay, that's, that's the idea anyway. That's not enough. Get up there. Get up there. Go. I uh, wasn't terrible, but that was not great either. Guys, don't beat yourself up too much from that yardage. Even the pros miss the greens occasionally. 
not often, but occasionally. But the big win is John and I are still alive. No lost golf balls, no gator bites. <laughs> it's a win. Whoa, look at that. Dude, that's gnarly. Big little tree over there fell over. If a tree falls in the forest and no one sees it, does it still happen? You still hear it? Who gives a shit? <laughs> What's well, like I, I was saying the other day, is a hole in one that no one sees still a hole in one? Why, yes, it is. Uh, all right guys well the maverick definitely proved useful there kept me out of the water by lowering my spin numbers and gave me my longest drive ever on this hole so did it cure my slice no but it's definitely fixing my game it's helping me play better it's giving me more confidence over the ball especially with the driver so uh all in all well money well spent all right guys like subscribe stick around till next time golf noobs golf noob out